everybody, my name is Lee Rothamel with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Rody. Today I want to talk to you about torch height control, or THC, or also known as standoff. Why is torch height control so important? Well, we know that there isn't a flat piece of material out there. And we also know that if we introduce an enormous amount of heat into a piece of material, it causes warpage. This is more noticeable on long cuts and on thinner material. Now, we want to keep a consistent height across the whole cut on the material. This will help consumable life, cut quality, and accuracy of the part. So let's go over some of the torch height control features. First thing I want to do is go into the material list. So I'm going to go ahead to config, left click. Now you'll see that we've already put in 14 gauge mild steel fine cut. These are the basic hypotherm book settings, so they can be manipulated. Our target voltage is the important thing. The book setting is easy to change. If you want to make a correction to it, all you have to do is highlight it, put in your value, and save. That's simple. Your torch height active delay, that's the amount of delay from the time the arc is struck to the time that the torch height control is activated. That's pretty much all you need to know besides you want to be an automatic. Now we have the option to go ahead and disable it at any moment so it's that simple just by clicking on it or going back to automatic. You want to always save. Let's talk about target voltage. Target voltage can be adjusted in tenth increments, all by using the arrow keys up and down. That can be done on the fly. We can adjust it by simply hit set, change the value, and OK. Arc voltage is the actual voltage while the machine is running. You can adjust that target voltage to compensate on the fly with the actual arc voltage. So let's go down to the machine and cut a project. I want to show you how the torch height control reacts to long and short cuts and how important it is. As the plasma is cutting our project, the torch height control reacts to the warpage caused by the heat during this long cut. Even with the fast change of direction on the corners and end, the torch height control follows along the cuts with precision. It reads directly from the hypotherm voltage board which gives you a visual representation of how the torch reacts. So we just finished cutting out our moon project and you could see on these long cuts how clean and accurate they are. There's minimal amount of kerf, minimal amount of dross. So on this long arc, torch height control made this possible. As the heat from the plasma started to move the metal, the torch actually moved up and down perfectly. All of our tight radiuses, you can see how the torch height control maintained everything perfectly. This project is a real-life subtle example of how torch height control works. Now let me demonstrate an extreme scenario on how it works on a bent piece of metal. As you will see, the controller is reading voltage from the torch and adjusting the height as it follows along the arc of the metal. So with this project, we've seen multiple variables that torch height control plays into. It is crucial for maintaining cut quality and accuracy. With that, my name is Lee Roadhammel with ShopSaber CNC. Any further comments and questions, contact ShopSaber.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram.